Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, as you can tell by the title, is going to be my February favorites. But before I get into my favorites, I just want to say that last weekend, I did not forget to post a video. Um, I actually recorded and edited um, a vlog for last weekend, but when I went to go post it, I went and I rewatched it and I don't know what it was. I think it's the editor I used, but the pixels on the video were just all jacked up and it looked so weird and like my face looked all like morphed and stuff. I don't know. Um, but it's pretty much all the footage is like jacked up, but good thing I left the footage on my vlogging camera. Um, so I'm going to go back and re-edit it and export it and all that stuff and I will get it up to you guys I want to say on Sunday or either Monday. I want to get the vlog up first and then my February favorites but I don't know that's what I want to do but I want to hurry up and get my favorites video up too before it's too late into March. Um, but I believe that's all I have to say, so let's get into the goods. So I think I have quite a few makeup products to show you guys, but first I want to show you guys the non-makeup product. It is the Organics Hydro, no, Hydrate and Frizz Kukoi? Kuko? Ku I don't know but it's the anti-frizz hydrating oil <laughs> um this smells so good I put this on my hair before um, I put on my leave-in conditioner and I find that when I put this on my hair especially the part where I dyed my hair blue my hair is just so much more softer and it's not as frizzy my hair when I dyed it blue was getting really frizzy really really easily and I noticed that when I used this oil it just it made it so much more softer it made the frizz go down and I just I really do like this once again it is the organics hydrate and defrizz Koi oil? Oh my gosh I don't know I probably butchered it but I, I will leave the name of it down below <laughs> My next favorite for the month of February is the L'Oreal Paris Youth Code Texture Perfector Day and Night Cream. <laughs> yeah, it's for your pores and I feel like this has really changed my skin regimen. I put this on after I put on my, what is it? I put on my acne spot treatment and I like the consistency of this cream. It's a little bit more thicker than any other moisturizer I've used. And what is also amazing about this is that it does not make me more oily. I have very oily skin, but I like this for my skin because I feel like it kind of kind of tones down my oil. I don't know if it's supposed to do that, but I feel like it does that. And also, I noticed a difference in my pores. I use this, and on days when I don't wear makeup, I use the Texture Perfector Primer, I believe that is, by L'Oreal, that goes with this. And I think they work so, so good together. But the reason why I'm not showing you guys a little primer is because I ran out and I threw it away. And I knew I wanted to show it in my favorites video, but it, it wasn't even in my mind at the time when I threw it away. But this is the day and night cream, and I really, really do like this. And the smell of it, it smells so good. As you can see, I used quite a bit of it so far. And I feel like it has lasted me a while, though. My next favorite is the NYX Pore Filler Facial Primer. This primer, I'm not even kidding you guys, is amazing. <laughs> I love this for feeling my pores and it makes my skin super soft. The texture of it really reminds me of the Benefit Pore Professional. It's just right there and there and it feels just like it, the Benefit Professional. I like the softness to it. It doesn't leave that like silicone feel, which I I just I don't like. It just makes the skin super like baby smooth. My next February favorites are the same exact product, but they are just in different formulas, I guess. 
They are the Maybelline Fit Me Foundations. The first one that I completely fell in love with is the Matte and Poreless. I have very oily skin. I have large pores. So when I heard that Maybelline came out with this foundation, I was like, yes, I need to go pick it up. So for, I believe, the months of January, I used this one. And... I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so in love with it. But then I noticed that in this area, I was getting really dry and really flaky. So I went and I thought, you know what, I'm just going to try the dewy and smooth one. So I went out and I bought it and I thought, I, you know, th I already have oily skin. So why the heck am I going to use a dewy foundation? But I went in and I tried it and I actually really love them both like equally the same um I use this on days when I know I'm going to be outside for very very long period of time but I use the dewy and smooth one when I know I'm going to be inside for a while and just be outside for a little bit but go back inside because I do have really oily skin and in California it's getting a little bit warmer so I know during the summer I'm not going to reach to the dewy and smooth one as much as the matte and poreless but I actually have the dewy and smooth one on today and I like the way it makes my skin look it makes it look very luminous but not like a grease ball if you know what I mean so yeah I just I think Maybelline is doing really really well right now with these freaking foundations because they're Amazing. My next favorite is the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in Dark Brown. It is actually what I use today to fill in my eyebrows. I'm in love with this pomade. When I first got this, I was a little intimidated because I just... I don't think I'm very good at doing my brows, but I tend to get a lot of compliments on my eyebrows. So, I mean, I, I think I'm doing something right. But when I got this... I just, I, it was sitting on my dresser for like the first two weeks, but then I was like, you know what, I'm going to crack it open, and I fell in love. The product just looks like this. It has like, I don't know how to explain the texture. I, I want to say like a gel, but it's, I don't think it's a gel, um, but I really do like this. I feel like the color matches my eyebrows perfectly. They make my eyebrows look very natural even though it is kind of, it could come off a little bit of harsh. If you blend it out with the spoolie brush like correctly and you fill them in right, you could definitely make this look like you have like natural, bold, beautiful eyebrows. My next February favorite is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit for medium to tan skin tones. I understand that I have the first one, but that is because I did not think that they were going to come out with contour kits for other skin tones. So when I heard that Anastasia Beverly Hills came out with a medium to tan one, you know I had to go pick it up. So I've had this for a couple of months now and I am just like floored with that how amazing this product is. The palette comes with gorgeous shades for medium to tan skin tones and I just I love it. My favorite shade is ugh, actually the one that I have on today that I contoured with is Havana. It is such a gorgeous contouring shade. I think it matches my skin tone perfectly I hope it is focused <laughs> but I feel like it just it matches my skin tone perfectly to contour and give me that gorgeous contour cheekbone look also my other favorite shade is the highlighting shade and it is in 10k it is a gorgeous highlighting shade I actually have it on today and I don't know if you guys can tell on the tops of my cheeks the bridge of my nose and my cupid's bow but it gives me such a gorgeous 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 glowy cheeks I just I love this palette I like this one more for my skin tone than the light one obviously but I still love my banana powder don't get it twisted. My next favorite is the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara I don't know when this came out but I 
have recently been trying it and I really do love this one. I believe this is in Blackest Black. And what I love about this is the brush. I don't know why the brush is so amazing. But it does such a great job at severing my lashes and making them super long and just gorgeous. And my last favorite for the month of February is the L'Oreal Infallible Makeup Extender Setting Spray. When I heard that the drugstore was coming out with a setting spray... I was very excited because I do not like spending money on setting sprays, especially if they're very expensive, like the Urban Decay ones. Um, I just, I don't like it. So when I heard L'Oreal came out with one, I was like, yes, I need to try it. I tried it and I'm, I'm Ugh. And I'm absolutely in love with it. It is what I use anytime I wear a full face of makeup just to let my makeup like be there all day long. I don't wear my makeup for extreme hours of the day but whenever I do I use this and I find that it just lasts very very long. So Infallible Makeup Extender Setting Spray by L'Oreal is just it's a gem when I do my makeup. <laughs> So that is it for all my February favorites. I would love for you guys to tell me down below in the comment section what some of your February favorites are. And also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not, and I think that's all I have to say. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.